Perhaps you've struggled to frame your pictures when shooting with long telephoto prime lenses. I am a great advocator of the 500 millimeter PF, but as I said in a recent video, I do struggle to frame with it sometimes, particularly when the subject is very small. A very kind viewer suggested that we try the DFM1 dot sight, which as far as I knew was designed just for Coolpix P1000 and P950 cameras, which are compact cameras that shoot up to one to three thousand millimeter. Definitely need help when shooting with those. But it transpires that this works also with Z bodies and DSLRs. So I'm going to set it up and give it a go and report back to you on what I find. On the camera, the DFM1 looks like this. Hopefully you've got an idea there. When it's collapsed, it's off. And then if I slide the little switch on the back there, it pops up. And then that automatically turns it on. Now it does have a few controls, which you may or may not be able to easily see. Brightness control, it allows you to change from red and green, and it also allows you to change the type of dot that you end up seeing. Now, the only thing I would say with this is because, of course, this little view here is not the same as whatever lens you're using. Sometimes it's a little bit complicated to set up. So ideally you would have it on a stable surface or a tripod. Tripod is ideal because you need both of your hands. There are little knobs on either side. You see this round one here? There's another one on this side. Um, so what I'm gonna do is turn my camera on and then I'm gonna use the flip up screen so that I can actually look while I'm doing this. Now I need to twiddle the dials on either side in order to line up my dot with what I see on the back screen. Now, it's gonna take a few goes to get it right. And I've decided to pick, just to be difficult, I've decided to pick the smallest dot, but I need to match up the focus point on the back screen with the, the little dot in the viewfinder. And then that way I can use the DFM1 dot sight to sort of line up my shot and then I can use my viewfinder or my back screen, obviously, to confirm focus. So that's what I'm gonna do next. What's the difference? Why is it better apart of cold due to you? Because if you're using a lens like a 500 and you find it difficult to compose, you've got, you can see mm. a wider field of view than if you're looking through the viewfinder. Okay. You see what I mean? Okay. So I think that's pretty much set up now, which means that I can now take this off here. And then I can shoot a picture of that parakeet, for example. It's taken me a little while to appreciate what the dot sight actually does. Essentially, it provides you with a wider field of view in which to frame your subject, 
before you then go and start focusing on it using your long telephoto lens. So for example, if you're aiming in the vague direction of a tree, the DFM1 dot sight will allow you to pinpoint exactly which branch of the tree you need to be shooting before you move over to your viewfinder and take pictures. Or of course your back screen if you're using live view to take your pictures. A couple of things I've noticed. Uh, one is that it is very important that you accurately match up the DFM1 with the focus point on your camera because obviously even if you're slightly off, it's not really gonna help you frame anything. Another thing I've noticed is that it works better on larger subjects, so larger birds, for example, are fantastic. Smaller birds, I have been struggling with a little bit with this setup just because you have to use the tiniest dot and they're already very hard to see through the viewfinder uh, or even on the back screen. So the DFM1 dot sight doesn't necessarily help in that respect, but for bigger subjects, it's actually quite handy just to help you frame up your shot. The battery will last a considerable amount of time and it does stay on for four hours if you've got it on the on mode. So obviously if you're in a hide and you don't wanna keep turning it off and turning it back on again, that's very handy to know. Uh, but I did notice that when you do turn it off, it seems to sort of reset itself. Thank you very much for watching and if you enjoyed this video please give us a like and a subscribe.